everybody, it's Wendy, and today we are going to open up the Magical Mystery Bead Box from Jesse James Beads for the month of April 2022. But first, our encouraging word for today is always be a little kinder than necessary. And I feel like I pull these out randomly, and I feel like that that one comes out a lot. <laughs> so it must be something that we all need to hear. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so the Magical Mystery Bead Box. This is so much fun. I love getting this every month. I'm just going to take a look. So you open it up, and at first we see Yellowstone, April 2022. Look at what a beautiful picture. I've never been to Yellowstone. I would love to go. I've been to the Grand Canyon. I've been to um, Yosemite. Been to the Redwood Forest. Been to the Petrified Forest. Um, been lots of places, but I've never been to Yellowstone. Looks beautiful. Okay, so what's inside? We have the whole list of everything that's inside. And there's a spring design challenge. It says capture your favorite spring dreams using components from this box and post to social media with hashtag JJB spring design challenge and at Jesse James Beads for a chance to win a $50 Jesse James Beads gift card. Deadline to enter 5-2-2022. So we're getting kind of close to the 5-2 mark. What is today? 428. Get on it, people. <laughs> All right. So let's take a look at everything in here. So we have this really super cute little burlap bag. This is adorable. And what's in this? We have some cool chain. Oh, there's more. Hold on. Let me get this out. Okay. Oh, so we have, okay, um, Patricia Healy Copper. Dot com. So that must be, that's new. Ooh, look how pretty this bead is. Wow, look at that. That's gorgeous. That's going to have to be a focal on a necklace for sure. And then look, this chain is hearts. I'm pretty sure. So I'm looking on my oh, Pat Patricia Healy heart charm. That is so cute. And look at the heart chain. Oh my goodness. I'm in love. <laughs> Literally no pun intended. That is super cute. Look how cute it will be with this. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. Let's put that back in there. And this back in here. I try to keep it all together because I tend to uh, have trouble. This is a smaller link chain. And then some jump rings and a lobster and an extender. So how nice. This little set here. Patricia Healy heart charm. Okay. Very nice. All right. I'm just going to put it back in here for now. And then let's see what we've got. And I'm going to pull out my egg container. Hold on. I should have already had this out, but this is what I keep all of my monthly bead boxes separated out into. Okay, so this is a little egg tray from the Dollar Tree. It has a lid that goes on and locks. So that if you pick it up, it's not going to fall off. Okay, I love this thing. Let me raise the camera just a tad. Hold on. Okay, so it's going to be blurry for a minute until the camera adjusts. There we go. Come on, get with it. All right. This is an egg tray from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and this is how I separate out all of my monthly bead box. So it has, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, yeah, I figured, twelve little containers for deviled eggs and a thing in the middle. But when I get a monthly bead box, and I started this recently, I was using the Ferrero Rocher, <laughs> I cannot say that, candy containers, but their lids come off, and this doesn't. This lid, it twists on, and then you have this little handle, and this is awesome. So, this is what I do when I get, like, Jesse James box or Bargain Bee box. I pull out my egg tray, so this will go in the middle here because it's kind of bulky. So, let's look at this Yellowstone mix. So, now we have our Yellowstone mix. And look how pretty. Ooh, it's beautiful. And it matches the colors on the front of this. So pretty. So look at these crackle cubes that are like a green and gold ombre. They are pretty. Wow, we've got those. This looks like some Czech glass ovals. 
Um, there's, this looks like table cut glass. Wow, very pretty. We've got blues in here, turquoise, olive green. This is a gorgeous mix. There's some daggers. There's some sparkle in this clear glass. Very, very pretty mix. And look how it brings, I mean, it's the perfect colors of the Yellowstone. So what I will do now is because I've cut this open, I'll take this mix, put it in one of my little egg holders like this. And usually most of them will fit in one. And then I will take this little card and I will cut out Yellowstone. Okay. And that way I know exactly which mix this was that staples in the way it's going to give me trouble um i know exactly which mix this was there we go and i can just lay this little tag in here and now there's my yellowstone mix now if you drop this thing yes the beads are going to go everywhere so you have to be careful i mean if you drop it inside they're going to go everywhere this lid does stay on pretty good but there we have it. So now I know this is the Yellowstone mix. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. We have the Montana Sky mix. So let's set the egg crate out of the way. We're going to open this guy up. Wow. Ooh, these are pretty. Look at those. Wow, I'm really liking those a whole big lot. Those are gorgeous. And then we've got turquoise, it looks like. Um, some more ceramic beads, some drops, some little um, faceted turquoise looking beads. Oh, these are beautiful. Okay, so again, what I will do is I will cut Montana Sky out. <laughs> this is my little organizational system and it works for me. It may not work for everybody, but it works great for me. And Montana Sky will go in here. <laughs> just like this okay and I'll set this aside let's see what else we've got we have leather cord USA four millimeter leather with some findings and I'm not going to steer a cast findings I'm not going to open this one because I'm just going to lay it in the middle here then we have the ranch house mix this is cool this is intriguing these are wooden beads Wow, ooh, these are cool. What do these do? Do these go around these somehow? These don't, huh. There are no, oh yeah, there's a hole. This one doesn't have a hole. That was why it was confusing me. This one has holes. These have holes. Okay, these three have holes. This one is undrilled. It didn't get drilled, so I'll have to, and this one's crooked. I'll have to uh, drill this one, but that won't be a problem. But then there, I guess they go around your beads like this. Very, very cool. Huh. There's bigger bead, too. Let's see if they fit it. They fit it pretty perfectly. <laughs> nice. That is interesting. That's going to be fun to work with. But look at this cool bead mix. Look how pretty these are. Wow. Okay. So we've got Ranch House. Let's put it right here. And if it's a big one and won't fit in one, then I'll just overflow it into the second one because... Obviously, I'm going to be able to tell that those two go together. And we'll cut this open. I just thought you guys might like to see how I organize this because I do this with all of my bead boxes that I get. That's how I keep track. You know, I would have a hard time keeping track of what was what and what I had left in which one if I didn't do this. And then at the end of the month, when the next one comes, I will put these away, you know, in their respective places. Okay, then we have this charm set. I like this month's box. It's beautiful. Oh, look here. A dream catcher kind of thingy. We've got some, oh, these are cute. Little mountain. Come on, camera. Little mountain charms. Look how cute those are. We've got some feathers, some other feathers. These are bead frames. So you would take a tiny bead and put in here. And then string through it. So are these. Oh, these are so cool. What a cool mix. 
Okay, so that is the charm set. So I'll show you guys here in a minute my bargain bead box container and what's left. <laughs> I'm going to do a um, finished jewelry update here soon. So I'm putting the charm set in there. All right. Then we have some chain reaction. This is beautiful. And I usually just take the chain reaction out and lay it in a container there. Like that. And then we have a gorgeous bead strand. So let's see what we have here. This is the Love Fiercely bead strand. Look at all this filigree. This is beautiful. And I don't always take these apart either. Sometimes I just lay them in here as well. Um, when I cut it, obviously, I will put them in here and cut out what it is. But this is how I organize. So this is the Jesse James Magical Mystery Bead Box for the month of April. It is Mon or Yellowstone. I started to say Montana Sky. That's this. And wow, what a beautiful box this is. This is going to be a lot of fun to work with. Um, I'm excited. So I will have a link in the description box below if you're interested in subscribing to this box. And um, yeah, check them out. This is a beautiful box. It comes every month and I enjoy it so much. So all right, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.